Hi, I'm Michelle Edwards, CPA and owner of Trailhead Accounting Solutions. Thank you so much for joining us today. So this morning I was on the phone with a potential new client. We were talking through his businesses. He actually owns three different businesses, so he's a seasoned entrepreneur, kind of knows what he's doing. But he made some comment about how he handles his capital accounts. And I thought it was interesting. I'd never seen it been done this way. And it got me thinking that capital accounts are kind of a mystery for business owners. So I thought I'd jump on the video today and help walk you through capital accounts, what they are, what do they mean, and how do you use them? So a capital account is kind of in a nutshell, what keeps track of the money you put into the business the money you took out of the business to pay yourself. And then over time, if your business had any profits or any losses, all of those then also feed into your capital account. So at the end of the day, it essentially tells you what your investment is in the business. So let's jump into zero and see how this works. So let's say it's the beginning of the month and we have payroll going out and I was expecting a check from one of our large customers and it hasn't come in. So me as the owner, I'm going to put in $5,000 into the business account so that we can fund payroll. So this would be, you can either classify it either as a loan or you can just put it in as your capital. So we're gonna say, I'm just gonna count it as a capital contribution. So we're gonna click on here on our desk on our dashboard from zero, we're going to click right here to receive money. The new window is going to open up. We're going to say that this came in from Michelle and we paid it on the beginning of the month. And then we'll just say capital contribution fund March 1st payroll and we're going to deposit $5,000. So we're going to post this to our capital. Owner contributions is what it's called in here. Okay, save. So then let's jump over to our balance sheet and you'll see what I'm talking about. So if we scroll way down to the bottom of the balance sheet, you'll see on the balance sheet in the equity section, here is owner contribution and you can see my $5,000. I'm going to drill down so you can see, yep, here it is, $5,000 that I contributed on March 1st to fund payroll. So now let's say it's halfway through the month, we got paid from our big vendor, so I want to pay my, or our big customer, so I want to pay myself. Now keep in mind, when you pay yourself as a sole proprietor, an LLC, a partnership, you can pay yourself through the capital account and those come capital distributions or owner distributions. If you're an LLC or an S or a, an LLC taxes an S corp, an S corp or a C corp, you have to run your payroll through payroll. You can also take some deductions as um, dividends and as draws, um, but you want to be making sure most of your payments go through payroll. But that's a good question to ask your accountant. Okay, so let's dive in over here. We're going to write ourselves a check. So we're going to click on this little button. We're going to spend money. We are paying the owner again. So we're going to select Michelle. We're going to pay it out today. And we will just call it an owner draw. Quantity one, and I'm going to pay myself $150,000 this month. And we're going to put this against owner's draw. Okay, so then we're going to save and close. Now let's run a balance sheet again. So we'll click on accounting down to balance sheet. And we scroll back down again to the liability section, or not the liabilities, I'm sorry. It's right underneath the liabilities to the equity section. And you're going to see, here's my payment of $150,000 to owner's draw. And if I click on that and drill down, you'll see, yep, I wrote myself a check, paid myself as an owner draw to $150,000. 
So going back to the balance sheet, again, down here in the equity section. So you have your owner's contribution is the amount I put in less the owner's draw, the amount that I put out. Now, just to kind of help you get a better grasp of what's hanging out in this equity section. So your current year earnings is, this is the amount of money that your business has made year to date. So from January through current, which is March, this is how much this business has made year to date. And then your retained earnings is the amount that your business has made carried forward from the time it started. So if you had, you know, any years that had net income or, you know, a profit at the end of the year, that's going to get carried forward to retained earnings. And that's how it closes off your income statement. So if you've ever noticed your income statement or your P&L profit and loss report, that zeroes out at the beginning of the year, right? It carries all your income and expenses throughout the year from January through December. But then January 31st, it erases out and starting January 1st of the next year, it goes to zero. So to close that out, it takes your year income number and moves it over here to your balance sheet to right here to retained earnings. So this is kind of the accumulative profit and loss that you've had since the inception of your business. So those are the parts of the equity and how your owner contribution, owner draw, owner capital counts, also known, how they work in Zero, how you keep track of those and where you find them. Thanks so much for watching. Reach out if you have any questions. Have a good day. Bye-bye.